Are you a leader? Cause this is our time I'm a leader On the Maxwell team I make a difference How's it going? Leonard Simpson II here Thank you for joining me today on Relationship to Lead Today we're talking about the Law of Reflection from the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John Maxwell. The Law of Reflection is a growth law which slaps dead in the face the fast-paced functioning and way of thinking in our society. The essence of this law is that learning to pause allows growth to catch up with you. To support his focus on the Law of Reflection, John Maxwell quotes Peter F. Drucker who said, follow effective action with quiet reflection. From the quiet reflection will come even more effective action. Now, what comes to mind to me are parents who put their children in time out after ineffective action. Many a times you hear them saying in the, in, in the dialogue to the child on their way to time out, why are you over there? You better think about what you've done. You know what they're telling the child? Reflect. Think about your actions. Now, not all the time does the child emerge reform, but I believe you get the concept. In your effort to grow, don't get caught up in doing what it takes to grow and not pausing at critical points in time to reflect. Pause to make sure you're on track. Pause to evaluate your progress. Pause to ask if something is working well. Pause to recall what is valuable. Pause to get clarity for next steps. And even pause to give a critical eye. I mean, be very critical of what you have done and plan to do. Now, there are those who would say that to pause and reflect causes a loss. And most time, the loss is connected with money. But if, if you want to grow and see that growth produce abundant usage of your potential, not pausing and not reflecting will cause a more severe loss. Believe it or not, we can be moving in a direction so focused that we move right past where we are to be and go. I think about Forrest Gump when playing football for the University of Alabama. They would give him the ball and tell him to run. And he would. The problem was though, when he would start running, he wouldn't stop. The fans helped him with this problem a little later though. When he would score, they would stop cheering him on and say, stop! so that he would not go past where he needed to go. Learning the law of reflection and applying it in your life will create a subconscious mechanism within that will say stop and reflect when the time comes so that you will not get ahead and get away from your growth. So join me again on Relationship to Lead for the next of the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth, the Law of Consistency. Even, I promise you, there is so much more to be said on the Law of Reflection. If you feel you have to know more about this principle from John Maxwell, take action. Send a message today to the email you will be given in a moment to inquire about when and how you can be a part of an in-depth study on this and the other invaluable laws of growth. I hope this was helpful to you. If you like what we're doing here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, connect with us on LinkedIn, like us on Facebook, and of course, send us your comments. Until next time, be engaged in building relationships that set the stage for leadership. Are you a leader? Because this is our time. I'm a leader.